So as a mother who lost her child, um, is there anything you'd like to say to the Sandy Hook families of the victims? I'm just sad that it happened. I'm sad that they lost their babies. There's nothing I can say to take away that pain because I still feel it each and every second since my daughter died. And all I know is to pray for them and pray for their comfort and peace from God. And that's, that's the only thing that's got us through. It's for right. people all over the country that we don't even know have been praying for us. Right. So that's all I ask for everybody else is to pray for them because they've lost their little babies right before Christmas. And right. I just can't imagine. Well, let me ask you a more personal question. You know, they say mothers have mother's intuition and women's intuition. Did you know something was wrong before you even got that phone call? I did. I, I Actually, I was supposed to pick her up that morning, and she was supposed to go to Jackson to her brother's swim meet. Right. And I kept texting her because I dropped him off probably right at 6 o'clock. And I kept texting her, and I never got a response. And I'm like, okay, something's not right. I said, well, I went on to get gas, and as soon as I started to leave to head toward her home, I got the phone call from my husband. And it's indescribable, the sounds from his voice. I mean, I couldn't understand a word he said. Right. And I had no idea it was Shelby until someone else that, that knew us, that knew Shelby, called back and said it was Shelby that actually had died. And I was just going to drive toward her house and he said, no, you stop. You go to the hospital parking lot and you stay there. Do not come here. And I knew then it, it had to be bad. Right, and with your husband being a nurse and whatnot, right. if he's saying don't go, yeah. don't go. I, I've heard from his co-workers that when he was told whoever was on the other line was still talking and he had dropped the phone and he dropped to his knees right in the middle of the ER. And he was unconsolable. I can imagine. Because girls are always daddy's little right. girls. I, I'm 22 and I'm still my daddy's right. little girl. It never right. changes. And that's what he, he used to call her baby girl. He was pops to her and she was his baby girl. I just, I can't, I can't imagine. And like I said, again, I am so sorry. And we're going to get into a little more detail um, and talking about that I have the perfect song it's stupid boy by Keith Urban 